I had identified a couple cities that I wanted to live in, and I actually, I targeted practices. For me, I was looking for practices that had vision therapy, or I thought I could add vision therapy services. I actually physically went and in person provided a, a professional copy of my CV or my resume with a cover letter and my photo in person, even if a practice, op if it wasn't posted. And I would really encourage you, if you haven't found your opportunity, to think outside the box, um, because on my end of things, um, you never know if a practice maybe hasn't posted it yet, but is interested, and they're two months away from thinking about an associate, or two months away from trying to find an associate to become a partner, and you just never know that, and that might you might be their dream associate or their dream partner, and this might be your dream practice. Tons of modes of practice for optometry, which is why it's awesome. But um, take away, you know, use your network, build a great just team of experts that can help you, and just continue to grow wherever you land uh, because it, it's really going to make difference, make a difference later. When you are having discussions. Um, when you're following someone around, um, getting to know them, they mentioned this earlier, but tell them exactly what you are wanting, okay? Be very, very direct. Um, that, how are they supposed to know how to prepare for you coming in if you are not giving them the information that they need? So make sure that they understand what your intentions are. It, it'll save both you and them time. Um, I consistently communicated with these ODs for three or four years. Um, our conversations progressed, and by Christmas of 2016, which is right, I graduated in 2017, I should have said that earlier if I didn't. Um, by Christmas, six months prior to graduation, I had two job offers, and both of the offers included language that I would have the option of buy, or the discussion to buy in two years after I started with them.